I'm hanging out with Swan while she cooks Ben Chung for Tet. Say hi. Hello. Cool. Fun to play with fire, isn't it? So hello from beautiful Da Nang and I have no idea if this is going to work or not because this camera sucks in the wind and you might not be able to hear me but we are walking on Bok Dong on the river, Swanee and I are and uh, there's all kinds of fun stuff up here, um, tent stuff. Uh, I'm seeing a million balloons in front of me. So much for walking and shooting. But Tet is uh, the annual Lunar New Year, big festival in Vietnam. And there's a lot of stuff going on right now, lots of stuff. So it's also the year of the water buffalo or the ox. Is it good? Yeah. Any good ones? Yeah, there's some. I got a lot of good ones. Huh? Because you, you always shoot a million photos. Shoot a million photos and then you and then you pick the best one. You never know what you're going to get. That's why you do it.
Xin chào. I'm on Bak Dong on the Han River in Da Nang and there are lots of flowers because of Tet and a lot of fun things for people to photograph. I think that's why they do it. It's the year of the water buffalo or the ox and I seem to have lost Swan. Where did she go? Oh well. New Year's Eve comes to a close, or sunset anyway.
this is not a view I get every day. Okay, so I'm going to open this banchung. Actually, I can I can cut those. I have the tools. Yeah, they're little wires. These are wires. So let's see what's in here. So my friend Paul said that I could cut this cake, the Bon Chung cake, with one of the strings. Like I guess like a like a cake. I'm not sure where I am on this. Maybe I start here. But this has enough bamboo layers on it to withstand 20 hours of a rolling boil. So these are pretty intense. And I remember the last time I did it, it was kind of really intense. And banana leaves. There are lots of banana trees around here, all over the place. So, I suspect that's sticky rice. I might, this is crazy, I might uh, snip an edge down to the rice. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh yeah, there's rice, all right. Okay. Plowing through the rice underneath. So when he said wait a day because it's too soft, this is kind of, kind of soft. I hope I'm not too early. but it's slippery. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'll throw that away. My fingers are getting sticky. Okay, let's cut this corner down. Cut this corner down. I'm sure I will hear in comments how to do this properly and those comments are totally welcome. For next year. You know, I bought these at the grocery store. This is Swan's mother's recipe, and I bought these at the grocery store, and they were not nearly as good as this one. And I, last time I had one of these was two years ago. We're, I don't know what happened last year. I forget. I either wasn't around, or Swan's mom didn't do it. My friend Paul said use the string that holds it together and there's no string so I guess I'll use, I will dampen my French chef knife and slice it and then you throw it in the pan, heat it up. That's what this is all about. This is a knife and fork kind of thing. And let me rinse off my hands. 
Maybe I'm doing this completely wrong, you know? Maybe I'm supposed to leave it wrapped and slice it while it's still wrapped. I don't know. Man, that stuff is dense. That is dense, dense sweet. Or dense, dense rice goo. Okay, so let's do this. So let's see if this works and Yeah, this is Oh, I did hit some good stuff. People please tell me how to do this. <laughs> In the comments below. Oh my god. It's super sticky and super soft. Okay, cool. So I see stuff inside. Let me do another slice. This thing is amazing and it's massive. Okay, so put it on nine. I cook everything on nine. <laughs> amazing. It's so sticky. Look at this. Sticky rice. But I remember this was fantastic. I'm trying to splash some oil up on the sides. So it's not quite so sticky. I have no idea what to expect. Well, I, mean, I do a little bit. Not really. I suspect it'll be good. We wouldn't have to oil a bag. Okay, turn that off. It's too hot. We wouldn't have to put oil in a bag to keep that from sticking to it. Inside a Ziploc. Well, okay, so I'm going to eat it. Okay, so let's ta taste this. See, knife, knife. 
use a sharp knife, and I think I want to actually oil my knife. Um, how do I do that? That pan's too hot. I'm going to stick a little oil on the chopping board here and use my fingers and just oil my knife so it doesn't stick. Because I think it's going to stick like crazy. Okay. So here's the knife. Here are two fingers, two oily fingers. Just a little olive oil on the blade to keep it from sticking like crazy. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, it's got a nice cr crunch to it. Okay. Mm, it tastes like fried rice. <laughs> Mmm. Oh man, there's something really nice about that. Really, really nice about that. Mmm. 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 It's amazing. It's just simple. I mean, there's... It's mostly texture, not a lot of flavor. But it's just amazing. Mm. Okay. So this is more central and you can see more stuff in it. Beans and meat. Really good. I'm having my third slice. And I froze the rest of it. I'll get to it later. So we're coming to see the Buddha, and there's a million people up here. We are at the Hill Station Cafe in Hoi An as a way to wrap up this 
long weekend of Tet. Oh yeah, it's kind of cool. And I'm with Swan. Hey. <laughs> so this is a really nice way to wind up a really great long weekend. And Swanee didn't have to work much. And uh, so this is good. I'm going to have a massive Reuben and I'll videotape some of that. It's been a long time since I've had a Reuben. Okay. Hello. So here's this Reuben at the Hill Cafe, Hilltop Cafe in Da Nang. And it's looking pretty fantastic. Came with a little salad. We also ordered the Masaman curry that's what he's eating. So this is Hilltop Station Cafe in Hoi An. And the owner said that this was built around 1900 during the French occupation. So Hoi An is a total zoo and that's great to see. The first time it's been really busy in a while. I'm loving it. Super crowded, but not everything's open yet. Which is very interesting. So one of my favorite little alleyways in Hoi An. Here's the well. It's an actual well. And last time I was here, it was open. Oh, it looks like it's open. Here's the well coffee and restaurant. Here's the well. Ah! Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. Yes. Hello. So strolling through Hoi An with Swan, being bothered by vendors all over the place. And uh, hi, no, thank you. Asking if we want to go on a boat ride. And like I just said a minute ago, Hoi An is kind of busy for the first time in ages, probably since. Last fall. Actually, probably since all of 2020, everything's kind of been closed. But it's good to see people wandering and spending money. I always love coming to Hoi An. It's just amazing. I guess it's kind of boring.
see if there's any boats being made back here. This is usually where they're doing it. They make these long skinny boats that are a wooden frame with aluminum riveted together aluminum. Oh, maybe that's not aluminum. Oh, I don't know what it is. Huh? The mountain is better. The mountain is better? I guess. Okay. Venture. Okay. Okay, that's far enough. Look at the camera. Shooting pictures. Look at the camera. You can zoom. Why? Look. Move your hand. So this must be the tip, the bow, because the aluminum is shingled that way, or whatever it is. You want to go that way or this way? Huh? Let's go. This way will be more interesting for video.
Oh yeah, and roast three. Yeah, it's good. I'm surprised it's not open. I'm surprised it's not open. But a lot of stuff is open. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Xin chào. Xin chào. Hello. Ciao. 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 Hello. 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 Hi guys. Hello. Oh, cool, look at this. Xin chào Xin chào Hello Let's, You want to go back the river? Huh? Too much sun you want to go? Okay, we stay in the shade. Beautiful stuff. Xin chào.
You want some earrings? So this place is, you know, um, it's like busy for Tet, but really not all that open. It will open a lot more when the international flights start happening. And more and more people are landing here. Thousands of people are landing here every day. This place will up one more? Huh? Yes? Okay. And uh, when you know, there are a hundred flights landing every day and full of people. Then this place will really, really, really open up. All the shops will be open, prices will go up, back to normal. And, uh, but that's not gonna happen until COVID is well tamped down. Nobody's getting it, you can help.